Well, hello, pew pew people, and welcome back to my channel where we chat about all things EDC and my concealed carry journey. If you're new around here, my name is Sarah, and welcome. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try and put out new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything. Today's video is a little bit different. One, I'm sitting pretty much for the whole video, which is nice. But I just got a new everyday carry bag that I'm really, really excited about. So I'm about to switch over my old bag to my new bag, and I figured this would be the perfect time to share my literal everyday carry. So let's get started. First of all, I want to go over this bag. I'm kind of obsessed with it. So it's from the brand Toomey. Um, if you are not familiar with this brand, it focuses heavily on travel stuff and like suitcases and briefcases and everything that is like travel friendly. I honestly was not a fan of this company for the longest time just because I thought everything looked super tactical. And then I got into the pew pew world and I love tactical looking stuff now. Also, um, can we appreciate the subtle camo that's on here? It looks a lot lighter in the video just because of the amount of light that I have on it right now, but it is actually very subtle in person. Anyway, this bag and all of their bags have <laughs> the most amount of pockets that I've ever seen on any bags ever, and I love it. First thing we're going to start off with for my EDC is what I carry. So, my everyday carry is, this is unloaded by the way, this is a Glock 43. This is what I carry every single day. I have a Glock 43X, um, which may or may not be my winter carry, but for now, this one is the most compact and the easiest to conceal for me. And I apologize if you hear my dog. She is making a lot of noise today for some reason. So Glock 43 is my everyday carry. And honestly, my go-to holster is my OG holster. And this is uh, from Eclipse which is actually one of my favorite, favorite companies. They are just the best people. This is the Intrepid holster with the Ulti clip from Eclipse Holsters with the Delta Wing. This is the very first holster I bought and I found them on TikTok before I was even ready to get my CCW. And as soon as I got it, I was like, done, sold. This is what I want. Um, I don't even know what I'm getting, but I know this is the holster I want. I love their company. I love that they were based out of Virginia and I love that it's woman owned and that it is super customizable. So your girl could get her favorite color ever, which is cheetah print. Please go ahead and give them a look over on their website. I do have a coupon code for them. It is the peace of mind for 15% off. So that's my EDC holster. I love this holster, especially with the Delta wing. It's great for both leggings, sweatpants, although it does weigh your sweatpants down and your leggings down, but it is perfect for like, if you don't want to wear a belt, even if you do want to wear a belt, I wear a belt with this all the time as well. That's my EDC. I also choose to carry a spare magazine on me. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And I chose to carry it with the Neomag magazine clip. This is a heavy, heavy duty magnet specifically made for Glock magazines. They have others. They don't fit every single magazine, so you'll have to look and see and make sure that they fit yours. But they did come out with one for Glock specific because the Glock magazines are polymer coated and the normal magazine couldn't um, penetrate enough, I guess. So they came out with one for Glock. I absolutely love this thing. When I first got it, the um, actual clip part was the biggest pain in the ass I've ever had in my entire life. I could barely get this on my pants. But now that I wear it like pretty much every day, the clip itself has given a little bit and it's way less difficult to put on. So just for warning you, when you do get it, this is a very, very hard to open. I chose to go with this guy over a in the waistband like kydex holster because i don't always wear pants i don't always wear jeans i don't always wear pants but i don't always wear jeans and i wear skirts and all kinds of stuff so i wanted to make sure that i could put this 
in anything on anything belt or no belt and I absolutely love that for that reason this is called the Neo Mag, and I will link them down below next thing we have is my EDC pepper spray I actually have two of these I keep one in my pocket I don't always have my keys on me so this guy goes in my pocket if I don't have my keys on me I absolutely love these pepper sprays I found this off of she equips herself which is another youtuber and she loved them and then I had to get one because obviously she loved it I'm gonna love it and I do one thing I do love about this is it does not have the flick over trigger guard that I see on a lot of pepper sprays and actually one that I used to have had that as well. so this has its own little flip up trigger guard you just put it in there and then you press down simple as that it also has this little lip right here so that you know you're underneath of the spray nozzle that way you're not covering it up on accident too if you ever do need to use it so definitely recommend them they are called palm I did not say that in the beginning I apologize they are called palm POM and I will link them down below as well as for my EDC wallet I actually just got this from flashbang and I absolutely love it it is a slimline pocket wallet with a clip on the back and I've been eyeballing one of these for a really long time both Eclipse and Flashbang make these and basically it's just a solid piece of Kydex but it has like a hole over here and you can just slide your cards out as you need them and then the last like EDC thing that I carry on my body is my belt and you guys have seen me talk about this dang belt so much um, I absolutely love this this is my core essentials belt it is a, um, a gun belt that does not move does not wiggle does not fold does not bend it is super super stiff the belt hook is a ratchet type so basically you put this in like this and it ratchets it on and does not move and then you click this little lever down here and you can adjust however you want I freaking love this belt now on to my purse so I'm one of those like overly prepared people and I do keep an emergency kit this is just like a girl emergency kit not a medical emergency kit so I keep this on me this has literally anything and everything that I could need so I highly recommend making one of these I freaking love making these I don't know why but these are like one of my favorite things to make for myself and then we have my tourniquet I keep a this is an off-brand cat tourniquet I do have a regular cat tourniquet that I keep in my range bag as well but I keep this in my purse um, you never know if you're gonna need this there's some great training videos on YouTube that I have watched and practiced with um, about this so highly recommend carrying one of these around if you do have something that can cause an injury you should probably figure out how to stop the injury as well I'm also in the process of signing up for a tactical emergency training class um, at one of my local ranges that is definitely something that I recommend you guys do especially if you want to carry a firearm on you you definitely have to have a basic medical understanding of how to stop bleeds how to treat injuries how to treat wounds um, if something were to happen to yourself um, or somebody else that uh, you know or care about and want to help um, so I do have that coming that I'm really excited about I've always wanted to learn uh, medical training just like that so then we have my EDC flashlight this is Bushnell brand um, I got it from Walmart it was like 20 bucks it's really bright uh, I definitely recommend carrying a flashlight on you you don't know what low light situation you might need especially if you don't have one on your firearm and then last but not least I think oh I have one of the buck multi tools just in case and then last but not least is my new artisan cutlery knife which I'm obsessed with it has a glass breaker on the end that was something that I definitely wanted for a knife that I was gonna carry on me and then it is a slide open like that and I liked the way that it looked I'm getting really into knives uh, I don't know why I never thought I would but 
I definitely am getting into them so I thought this looked really cool and it's green one of my favorite colors and that's by Artisan Cutlery I will link them down below as well and I will go ahead and throw this out there because I'm pretty sure I will get comments on it I do not plan on adding knife defense into my self-defense training right now um, it is just not something that I find that I will be good at one um, and it's also just not a very safe and easy form of defense which is why I carry this with me instead um, there are a lot of things that could go wrong with knife fights um, and a lot of injuries that could happen to yourself with knife fights uh, so that's just not something that I plan on putting into my defense training as of right now um, this is more just for fun and if I need to use it for you know cutting open boxes it looks really cool <laughs> let's go ahead and put everything inside in here there's these two pockets right here kind of for like a tablet and then like a big pocket so I'm gonna put this guy back here and then I'm probably going to put, we have like a RFID protected space right here for credit cards and like a keychain hook. So I'm probably going to put my, this looks like a good pocket for my knife and my flashlight. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw my wallet on this side as well. So I know that everything that I need is on that side. This side is actually meant for a water bottle, so you can actually put a full-size water bottle in there. I might keep that open for right now. And then this area is actually why I decided to get this bag in general, because this has a very like quick release opening right here, and it's it is a very shallow pocket. So when I saw that, I was like, this would be a great place to keep my tourniquet because if I do need to get to it, like let's say I only have one hand and let's say it's like my left, I only have my right hand. I can pull this like this and then easily unzip and pull this out with one hand. Whereas this one, might be a little more difficult to do and then like I have to make sure that I'm on one side like I know what side the tourniquet's on if I were to put it on the side pockets because if I were to like pull it over here and it's on the bottom one it wouldn't be easy to access so when you do carry one of these you want to make sure that you can get to it quickly easily and potentially one-handed if necessary that's what she looked like on she does look a little tactical, but honestly, I don't care. I think that the leather patches on here also help. You can monogram these, but also help keep it a little bit more feminine and a little less like super tactical. And I will try and find this exact style and link it down below. I did get it in an outlet, so it may not be something that is at the regular like online store, but I will try my best to find this or the equivalent to this. And that's the conclusion to today's video. Thank you guys so much for sticking all the way through this. If you have any questions on my EDC or if you think there's anything that I should add to it, I do know that I need to add a couple more medical items, um, not just the tourniquet, so those are on my list. Um, but again, if you think of anything that you think I should have, please link it down below or comment down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give it a little subscribe and a little like if you enjoyed this content. And I will see you guys on the next one. Stay safe out there. Bye guys.